guys, you know, one of the coolest things, well, I can say it's pretty cool actually, is, uh, you know, being able to make your own baits. And, you know, you can do it relatively simple. And one thing I want to do today is just check this out. See that? I have a bunch of, uh, you know, just a bunch of little jig grubs that I've had for him. And I found them in a bag laying around. So they had no use, really. I, mean, I could use them for crappie, but I get, I don't really use this type of stuff for crappie myself. So, recycling soft plastics to make you some awesome baits. A lot of these are made from recycled baits right here. Some leftovers I had or whatnot. That's why the color kind of turned out like that. But, you know, pretty cool. They actually work good. Caught some fish on those the other day. So anyways, I'm going to be uh, doing a little, little test here, recycling some baits. And one thing I like to do is whenever you use an old plastic, it's a good thing to put a little bit of fresh in with it. Kind of make a, it's almost like baking a cake, you know? So let me go ahead and put this in the microwave. The way that I like to microwave my soft plastic is 30 seconds at a time. You know, it takes a little, you know, so you don't scorch the plastic. I can reheat them plenty of times doing it that way. So let me go ahead and do that. One thing when you work with soft plastics, if you want to have lots of these, I've never had one of these glasses shatter, but I've heard of it happening. That's one thing you don't want to happen. Just to go blind, playing around with stuff. Another thing is breathing the fumes. I'm definitely going to give me a respirator. I haven't got one yet, but I do need one. So that way it's so. So. Those some things, you know, some people wear arm sleeves or whatever. It's good. This plastic gets 300 some degrees. It will burn the crud out of you. I had some drop on my toe one day. I like to use sandals a lot, and that didn't feel good. I'll just be completely honest with you. I'm curious what this color is going to be. It'll probably be a darker color. Usually that ends up taking out, that usually ends up dominating just because of the simple fact that they do. I mean, I got a lot of, I had like a lot of oranges and chartreuse in there, but a ton of glitter in there too, so it's hard to say what color it ended up being. And I'll probably go ahead and throw a little salt in this. Oh no. Oh, okay. I haven't used it in a while. I better make sure it's really tight. Don't want no humidity getting in my salt. Oh, it's fine. Whew. I don't know about this color. Wow. It's looking a little pukey. Like some baby, baby diaper holding. If you guys have kids out there, you know what baby diaper holdings can look like. Not pleasant. Almost smells as bad too, to be honest with you. So I had to say guys, you know, this color looks pretty cool. The only thing you always want to do, this will suck down. You want to top it off. You may have to top it off a couple times. I noticed that the Cinco mold actually goes down in there a couple of times. You know, I don't have my mask on, which I don't really have a good one. So, but that's no excuse not to have one. I highly advise it to have one. But I do have an open shed here and I have a fan blowing down right on the spot. Kind of taking the smoke away from me, so I'm not really directly inhaling a ton of it. So, you know, basically what I've done, I've taken some old cutty worms, grubs. <coughs> There's a bag of, bag of old plastic grubs. 
from, uh, I don't know where I even got them from, to be honest with you. I don't think I bought them. Um, you may have got them, give them to me or whatever, because you know, I get that from time to time. So let's see if we can take those old grubs and turn them into. You know, one thing about it, if you're going to start pouring your own baits, watch out. You can get addictive. Almost addictive to fishing. Huh. Maybe even more so. Let's go ahead and check out our, this is our beaver. Trim it up here. Now what is wrong with that? That's a good looking bait. And I really like the color as well. You know? So let's go ahead and check out. I got my cookie sheet here. I put them on to do their thing. Let's go ahead and check out the crawl. Yeah, there's a little team. See those, see those little dimples? That's why they push kind of hard on them. I just want to keep the bait from performing. It's going to perform quite well. But you can kind of see that right there. No big deal. Let me go ahead and get this. Nothing wrong with that, huh, guys? So what you basically do is, there's my Hey, here's my ex, my main core. <laughs> what do you think about those colors, Brayden, from the little jig? That's what we came out with, we were looking at earlier. Pretty cool, huh? I got a little flashing on that because I didn't actually have the hole shut all the way. But once again, no big deal. I don't think it's going to hurt a thing when it comes to the fishing at all. So there you have it, guys. Some recycled bait using recycled stuff, stuff that would never get used. I guarantee I would never use those grubs in a hundred years. Not to say there was anything wrong with them, I just got so much stuff. I bass fish a lot more. And so, yeah. Oh yeah. So anyways guys, uh, that's about it. You know, four recycled plastics is uh, not a hard thing. <coughs> and uh, it's actually kind of rewarding. So until next video, you know what to do? What do I gotta do, Brady? Be fishing. <laughs> yeah, be fishing. Alright guys, y'all have a good one.